president took executive action on Iran yesterday, imposed those new sanctions. We saw General Flynn say Iran is on notice. What does that mean exactly? It means we're watching. What are we watching for? It means there's a... Uh, Iran would do well to look at the calendar and realize there's a new president in the Oval Office. And Iran would do well not to test the resolve of this new president. What would testing the resolve be? Well, we... The, the ballistic missile tests that were done in the last week were in direct violation of UN Security Council resolutions dealing with limiting them in that regard. That's the reason why the president took the decisive action that he took to impose economic sanctions on their supply chain for their missile program. But also let's recognize that the Houthi rebels in Yemen are fully subsidized by Iran uh, and the attack that the uh, Houthis leveled using Iranian arms against a Saudi Arabian uh, ship this last week all represent the kind of hostile and belligerent actions that are simply not going to be tolerated. That might require military action. The president said everything's on the table. The president said everything's on the table. Uh, but look, the, the Iranians got a deal from the international community that again, the president and I and our administration think was a terrible deal. It essentially allows Iran to develop a nuclear weapon uh, in the years ahead at a date certain. And, uh, and, and they received hundreds of millions of dollars but in Secretary cash. But Secretary Madison and Secretary Tillerson say we have to stand by that deal now. Is that administration policy? Well, we're evaluating that as we speak. But Secretary Mattis didn't say he's evaluating the deal. He said the U.S. has to stand by it. Is that administration policy? Well, I think the president will make that decision in the days ahead. And he'll listen to all of his advisors. But make no mistake about it, um, uh, the resolve uh, of this president um, uh, is such that uh, Iran would do well to think twice about their continued hostile and belligerent actions. Russia has been violating the ceasefire in Ukraine. Are they on notice as well? We're watching and very troubled uh, by the, the um, increased hostilities over the past week in eastern Ukraine. Uh, I know the president uh, had a conversation uh, with uh, Vladimir Putin. Did he say he was troubled? Uh, they, they spoke at that time about Ukraine, and I expect those conversations are going uh, to be ongoing. Uh, but, uh, but look, there's, uh, I think there's a growing recognition in the world community <laughs> that there is a, there's a new style of leadership, not just a new leader in the White House. Uh, President Trump is bringing a very candid uh, and direct uh, type of leadership uh, to the White House. And in conversations with leaders around the world, frankly, I think they all find it very refreshing. Some of them find it unsettling. Well, and to the extent that we have a president who's got broad shoulders and is willing to put the interests of the American people first and speak directly to leaders about the world, about America's interests, uh, that may be unsettling to some, but I think it's very encouraging to millions of Americans. So, but w will, this, will the sanctions on Russia remain in place as long as Russia is violating the ceasefire in Ukraine? I think that's, I think that's a question that will be answered uh, in the months ahead. And it, it just simply all depends on, on whether or not uh, we see the kind of changes in posture by, by Russia uh, and uh, the opportunity perhaps to work on common interests. I mean, the president's made it clear the top priority of this administration is to hunt down and destroy ISIS at its source. He's directed our military commanders uh, and our secretary of state to collaborate and to develop a, a strategy in the region uh, to bring together the resources and the allies necessary to do that. Uh, Russia has a common interest uh, in confronting radical Islamic terrorism and especially ISIS. And if we have opportunities to work together, uh, I think the president, the president is looking for an opportunity to begin that relationship anew. But uh, make no mistake about it, uh, those decisions will await action and they'll be very dependent on, on, how, uh, on how the Russians respond in the days ahead.